Pressure's important, not, but maybe not in the way you think. Two pounds of pressure, that's all you need to heat that bad boy. <laughs> it's also in a vacuum system, so we do have some negative pressure on the return. But two pounds of pressure, that'll do it. And that's because, uh, you know, pressure on the gauge on a low-pressure boiler doesn't go above 15 pounds. In the old days, they used gauges like this because it would also go into vacuum if we were firing coal. But it's not the pressure that heats the building. We have to figure out what pressure we need. And for that, we look at the pressure troll. And, you know, we've looked at these a bunch of times today already. It's got a cut-in setting. It starts at one half PSI. And when I started out in this business, I was trying to figure out, like, what should that be set for? So I would go to these little local trade shows. I worked for a manufacturer's rep at the time. We didn't sell pressure trolls and we didn't sell boilers. But I'd say to the boiler guys, how do you set that? And they'd say, well, you set it for whatever it needs, and it, which wasn't really a good answer. So I'd ask more people. They'd tell me the same thing. One guy says, go ask the Honeywell guy. And I went over. He had a booth, and I asked the Honeywell guy, and he says, I'll send you the instructions before the Internet. So he sends me the instructions. It comes in the mail, and uh, it's going to explain everything. And the instructions say, set the cut-in scale to the desired pressure. And I said, oofa. Right? This is this is whatever you desire. So this is clear as mud. Thank you very much. But when you open it up, you'll see this little wheel here, and that says differential, D-I-F-F. -F. So the cut-in plus the differential equals the cut-out pressure. So if you set this to cut-in at 0 0.5, half pound of pressure, with a one pound differential, it'll operate between cut-in at a half, cut-out at a pound and a half. So Honeywell in their instructions told me how to set the differential wheel for heating system, and they said that uh, uh, I should set it to the number of pounds that the pressure differential should rise above the cut-in setting. So the cut-in is whatever I desire, and the cut-out is whatever it should be. Thank you very much for that useful bit of information. And it wasn't until after that I realized that it's not the pressure that's heating the building. This is when I did other research, read lots and lots of books in full, and learned about the uh, you know, the national poison, which was vitiated air. I learned about the, the great influenza, you know, the Spanish flu. I learned about the Carbon Club and how they decided two PSI is all we need on December 19th, 1898. And, and I realized that, that it's not the pressure that heats the building. It's, it, it's, it's the latent heat that's in the steam. So, for instance, if, if we wanted to change a pound of water, which is about a pint from liquid to steam, if we started at a 32-degree liquid water, not ice. And we got a 212 degree liquid water, not steam, because water can be in either state at 212 degrees or at 32. It's good that way. Well, we would have to add 180 BTUs, because one BTU will raise one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit. So to get from 32 to 212, that's 180. But now we don't have, that's not, that's not steam. That's just really hot water, 212 degree water. To get steam, it would be nice if we could like throw one more BTU into the pot, you know, one toke over the line, and suddenly you got steam. But but then a watch pot never boils would not be true. No. To get that pound of water to turn state, to get those little molecules excited enough that they leap off the surface of that water, we have to add a magnificent 970 BTUs per pound. And it's still on it's still only at 212 degrees. It's at zero PSI. Now that's the heat that's going to heat the building, right there. That's called sensible heat, because we could sense it. This is called sensible heat. I'm sorry. We could sense this with a thermometer. This is called latent heat, because we can't sense it with a thermometer. It's just there. You can't see it, though. At this point, all we need to have is enough pressure to move through pipes, the steam through pipes, which was sized since 1899 at a pressure drop of one ounce of loss for every 100 feet of travel. So this is why steam systems will work at 2 PSI if you'll only get the air out of its way. And that has nothing to do with pressure trolls. That has to do with air vents and master venting and steam traps that work and pipes that are insulated and near boiler piping that's correct and all this stuff that we've been talking about for hours. Crank it down. You don't need pressure to heat a building. If you crank it up, you're going to lose every single time.